Hey guys, Dave from Gorilla Painting here, and today we're going to take a look at the new Beyond the Gates of Antares, the Xylos Horizon starter set. Now this is the new sci-fi game from Warlord Games. It's the first starter set they've got, and uh, it's going to be packed full of a whole bunch of different miniatures and cool stuff. So let's crack it open and see what's inside. So the launch editions come with this 260 page hardback rulebook. Uh, this is the first time I'm getting a good look at it, but uh, it seems really well solidly constructed. Really cool image on the front, which sort of harkens back to the original Rogue Trader 40k cover artwork. Uh, you can't see it all because of that sticker there. We've got really nice, uh, really nice printing in here. Um, of course you're going to have the rules, you're going to have the background information, um, some cool sort of shots of some armies and stuff being used. These ones look pretty wicked, I'm not sure who makes the terrain for that one, I'll have to take a look. Um, and then coming into more information about the weapons, vehicles, and then equipment, different uh, monsters and stuff like that, special rules, plenty of scenarios, and army lists. Now this is something I'm really liking from a lot of games these days is that they include all the army lists you need in the actual rulebook itself so it saves you having to buy extra stuff so this rulebook's looking really good and I'm looking forward to getting a good read of it over the weekend. So as well as a big rulebook you also get a quick start guide so this should have the basics of what you need to know to start playing games and um, sort of get get started with Gates of Antares and then you can uh, start picking up all the um, the rules from the main rule book here and it's also got the assembly guides for how to assemble the drones the troopers and these uh, big gas squads so that's pretty cool and then the accessories for gaming so we've got the templates we've got some pin markers polyhedral dice uh, so they're all d10s it looks like nope there's a couple of d6s and it looks like a d3 it's the first time we've ever seen one of those and then we've got the order dice so from my understanding Gates of Antares shares the same sort of activation and order system as bolt action uh, which is a really good system I've played a lot of that so I'm looking forward to seeing how this game plays so on to the miniatures first up we're going to take a look at the Gar miniatures um, so Gars is a diminutive race um, and then they fight in these big armored suits so there's two different sprues here there's the assault squad and the battle squad. So the assault squad looks like they have the more close combat weapons. And then the battle squad has the ranged weapons. It has these little chain guns here. Pretty cool miniatures. Um, good level of detail. Some big segmented armor plates and stuff. So these are going to be really fun to paint up and to weather. And then we've got the model for the second faction, which is the Concord. So these are four identical sprues. Um, so we've got some troopers, and then we've got drones down the bottom. So once again, there's quite a lot of detail on the legs and uh, on the chests of these guys. But still that same sort of uh, heavily armoured sort of sci-fi trooper aesthetic um, with some really cool weapons and stuff here. So looking forward to seeing what these look like when they're all put together. Now on the retail launch editions you also get a couple of special miniatures. I'll just see what they are. So you get this strike leader here and then on the first lot, the pre-order specials, you also get a unarmored gar leader. Um, now we don't have these here to show you because this is our launch pack, so it doesn't include those. Uh, they're a special for just the retail customers, but this is looking like a really cool starter set. Heaps of miniatures. Uh, if we look at the full breakdown there, as you can see, there's quite a lot. Um, and everything you need to start getting going. So. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, check out Gates of Antares. Um, there'll be lots of information on the Warlord Games website and there's some good active Facebook groups and stuff like that to check out. But until next time, happy modelling.